Good day, human Latiosites. So this is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Go. Now, today we have a lot of evolutions to go through, but this is... Well, you're going to hear me twice. You're going to hear the Latios Azuro from the slightly further past speaking behind me because... <laughs> My microphone really messed me up here because you cannot hear my commentary, and since the microphone blended it with the game audio, I kind of have to post commentate. I'm sorry about that. We did get an award for defending uh, gyms for 100 hours, so that's kind of cool. So we're gonna use, we're using a lucky egg, and we're gonna start evolving some Pokemon. So I do apologize. You are gonna hear me in the background. That is the live commentary, which. I don't think you can really hear, so we're going to start evolving some Pokemon. So we are going to be starting off with a little Caterpie, just because it was the, the first thing I could see. So, really we're just going to be doing a lot of evolutions and stuff, which is really going to be good for our Pokedex. It's going to give us a lot of experience, considering the fact that we are, um, we are going to, we do have that Lucky Egg up at the time. So, another big thing is, we have all of these Pikachus. And I've never gotten a Raichu in this game. So, I'm going to start evolving these. So we're going to start off with an Ash Cap Pikachu. In order to get ourselves an Ash Cap Raichu, we already have an Ash Cap Pichu. We got a bunch of Ash Cap Pikachus, along with a, a mix of male and female. So we're finally going to get ourselves a Raichu. It's kind of cool how the Raichu in the Pokedex has the hat. It's not going to be permanent. It only does uh, as this thing is being registered. After that, it will no longer be in it. Also, it's kind of cool that it does have intact power, or combat power of over 1300, which is kind of nice. I don't know exactly how much I'll be using it, but that's okay. We also have a party chew, so it is time for us to get a party hat Raichu as well, which is definitely, definitely kind of cool. Not going to be nearly as powerful as the Ash Cap one, as, as it is older and lower in attack, well, in combat power. But you know what? That's okay. It's still really cool. That hat is just funny looking, especially compared to the, it's smaller than Raichu's head. Um, not the most powerful Pokemon in the world for us. We also have a Santa Chew to evolve, so we're going to get a nice uh, Santa hat Raichu, which is kind of cool. I do like how you can still evolve them and it keeps the hat, especially given that when you evolve them, it doesn't even have to be during that event period, as long as you caught the Pokemon during that event period. So that's kind of cool. So with that, we have a Santa Hat Raichu, which is actually not bad in attack power, considering the fact that it's pretty old. Also, we're going to try to get a regular Raichu, since, you know, we have the Pikachus, so why not evolve them? Other than, I guess I could save the candy and try to, you know, level up the strongest one we have, but, you know, let's not, let's not think about other options. We're going to get a bunch of Raichus, and that's kind of cool. It's all about catching them all. The only way to really catch them all is to, uh, to just, you know, evolve a bunch of Pokemon. So, we also have a Nidoran female, which we're going to try to double evolve into getting ourselves a Nido Queen. So, that's kind of cool. You know, a nice, nice powerful, uh, poison ground type. Not, po not ground yet, but still, you know, kind of cool. So there is a nice, powerful Nidorina. So, evolving it again in order to get ourselves a Nidoqueen. Now, I know there are other ways of getting a Nidoqueen, but this way at least it'll be powerful, so you know, there's that. So, yeah. That is our Nidoqueen. I mean, we already know it's going to have an attack, a combat power over a thousand. The question is how much higher, and the answer is about 1491. Not too bad, not too bad. Not the, the strongest thing ever, but still pretty good. So moving on to the Nidoran male. Well, that's actually, uh, I see some potential there. Really, we're just trying to fill up our Pokedex, get some, uh, get, get our level up a little bit, maybe. I don't know, we're not even level 30 yet. <laughs> we're far from it, to be honest. Okay, Nidorino, it's time for you to evolve now. Now that you've evolved once, time to, for you to evolve twice. Yeah, so... Yes, I understand. I do apologize. I don't like doing close commentary for this stuff, but unfortunately, um, my microphone had other plans. So, we're getting the king! 
1410, so a little bit weaker than the Nidoqueen, Queen, but that's life. Alright, we got a Sand Shrew. So, you know, we're gonna end up evolving that to get ourselves a Sand Slash, which is definitely nice. Uh, Sand Shrew is such an adorable Pokemon. Pure ground, can't complain. Um, it's adorable. And you know what, I really like Sand Slash as well, so I can't complain. So, that is our Sand Slash at 1391. So, you know, it's not the strongest thing ever, but still pretty strong. We also have a Clefairy over 700, so I can only imagine how strong it can be once it evolves. Plus, we have enough candy, we could probably train it up a little more anyway. So, there's that. I mean, really, we have a lot of Pokemon to evolve, so... We've got ourselves now a Clefable. So, there's that. I remember I actually encountered a Clefable a long time ago when the game was new. But what happened was, uh, the game crashed. So, I didn't get a Clefable. <laughs> Alright. Don't quite have enough candy to evolve a Vulpix quite yet, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's life. Like, the Fable is over 1600, so that's actually pretty good considering where we are at this point in the game. Alright, let's go evolve a, uh, what is happening? Oh, wait a minute, okay, so. Yeah, for some reason the game froze for a second there. I don't know why, but let's evolve a uh, Jigglypuff to get ourselves another Wigglytuff, of course. So, you know. We can get a stronger Wigglytuff, and then, you know, once we're in control of that guild, you never know what else you can accomplish. So, 1269 is definitely an improvement for our last one. We're closer to uh, Treasure Town uh, status, I suppose. So, the next thing we're going to do is actually evolve a Golbat. Actually, we're going to have a few Golbat, because our goal is to get an overpowered Crobat. I have already have a Crobat, but this way we can get a stronger one. Since we have more than enough Zubat candy, we can just evolve these to our heart's content, 1749. That is pretty good, but you know, maybe we can do better. You think we can do better? I think we can do better. Maybe we can't do better. Who really knows? Who am I to say? But we still have the Golbats to evolve anyway, and you know, we, we can get some experience from evolving them to begin with, so... Whatever, that's fine. So 15, 17, yeah, we're not doing much better. Okay, we don't quite have enough to, to evolve all of our Oddish yet, but we can evolve a Venonat. So, you know, nice little Venomoth that could be strong for us, perhaps. I don't know. It could be good. Maybe. I don't know. Um, 940, yeah, not very strong. Not very strong at all. Alright, we don't quite have enough to evolve Diglett, but we can evolve a Meowth. That's right, we're gonna evolve a Meowth! Because... Because... I, I, I don't know why, just, you know... Just to, you know, use up our Meowth candy, get some more experience, and... All that fun stuff. So, there's that. We also have another Psyduck to evolve, which could uh, potentially give us quite a strong goal that we know we have already is over a thousand, but we can do better. I think we can do better. I don't know. Maybe we can't do better. Who really knows? Who am I to say? But we can still try. And try we shall. So 1404, that's an improvement. That's still an improvement, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's get our first legendary Pokemon. We have got Growlithe. So, let's go get ourselves an Arcanine. So... We are evolving our Growlithe, of course, to get ourselves an overpowered Arcanine. And by overpowered, I mean... Well, it's a legendary. Of course it's gonna be overpowered. 1867. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, we could always, you know, keep training it up a little bit, so that that's kind of cool. So next up, we got Poliwag, because we have enough- we have more than enough candy! We can get ourselves both evolutions of Poliwhirl. And that is something we just might do. And by might, I mean that is something we definitely will do. So, 
Nice thing is we don't need water stones. All we need is the King's Rock. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so moving on. We're going to evolve two Poliwags because the one at 54 is not really going to cut it. <laughs> that thing we caught as a Poliwhirl and it was weak at that point. It was really early on in the game. So there's really not much use for it at this point. I'm never going to use Poliwhirl anyway, to be honest, in battle or anything, so it's not like it makes a big difference, but 800 compared to 54, my money's on the 800. So, let's go get ourselves our Politoed. The king shall rise! Rise it shall, because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a cool little frog. Time to make it rain. So, there is our Politoed. 1573, I will take it. I will take it. Now it's time to get ourselves a Polyrath. Time for this thing to fight. All right. So, we are evolving our Poliwhirl. Well, or at least another Poliwhirl. So there's our Polyrath. Kind of nice, getting the double uh, candy has been really useful in uh, evolving these Pokemon. Well, getting enough candy to evolve these Pokemon. So, moving on, we don't have enough for the Abras or the Machops yet. So, or even the Geodudes, but we do have a Ponyta. Over a thousand already, so you can only imagine how powerful this Rapidash is going to be. And by how powerful, I mean really not that powerful, to be totally honest. But... You know, it's still kind of, uh, kind of nice. Unfortunately, the actual sound um, combat power of a Pokemon before it evolves doesn't really have that big of an impact on when it after it evolves. It's kind of hard to tell. But 1500 isn't too bad, so I'll take it. Now let's try to get ourselves our Slow King. This'll be good. <laughs> this shall be good. We have all these King's Rocks. Might as well use them. So, there is our Slow King. This, thing's a, this thing has always been a really cool Pokemon, in my opinion. Uh, Slow King. Um, 1646. I see potential. I see potential. Oh, right. We can also get ourselves a Dugong. Because when you evolve your seal, you can't do no gong. So... Seal, you shall evolve and hopefully be very powerful. If you're not very powerful, then that's sad. But, you know, that's life. That is life for the Ice-type Pokémon. Many weaknesses, but pretty good strengths. So, alright, over a thousand. I'll still take it, I'll still take it. Um, come, so I was just checking for the time. Also, Tauros got knocked out of the gym. So that's kind of sad. But, you know. It happens. We took over the gym long enough, I suppose. We got some coins and all that fun stuff. We did skip shelter. We'll get back to that. But we do have an Onyx to evolve. This evolution is probably not that unexpected. Because we shall get ourselves a nice, powerful Steelix. Oh, yeah. So, not exactly the fastest Pokemon in the world, but... Definitely up there in the bulkiness, I will say that physically. Only 1381, but still not bad, not bad. But we do have the shelter to evolve, so, you know, that'll be cool. Nice little, uh, oyster that can, um, that can definitely put in some work. Once again, ice is really good in terms of offensive, not the best in terms of defensive. Although, Cloyster is a, is a pretty physically defensive, I don't know exactly how that translates into Go. But hey, you know, either way, we got our 1558 Cloyster, so I will take it. Oh, right, we also got Drowsy with the creepy hands. Let's go get it, uh, creepy, uh, Hypno. Because, because everyone knows Hypno is creepy. Even if you take the creepy pastas out of the picture, just look at it and that thing is a creep. You know, you just look at that thing and you can tell. That thing? That, that thing's creepy. <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's it's meant to, to, to do its thing. Not even a thousand, so it's really not going to be anything I'll probably ever use. But still, 
you know, smoky piping could be useful at some point, possibly, probably not. I don't know. Crabby, go evolve into a Kingler. Oh, like, we do have a Kingler, but, you know, we can get a stronger one by evolving another Krabby. So, it's easier to just, you know, evolve another one than just power up the one we have. Actually, it probably isn't, but, you know, that's whatever. 1528, I'll take it. I shall take that. So, next up, we've got a Cubone to evolve. Let's go get ourselves a Marowak. Um... Which is a pretty good ground type. Ground types are really good, I mean, especially given that electric types are a thing, and this is their only weakness, so it's good to have some strong ground types, which can be good. So, you know, I mean, we do have Dawn Fan, which is kind of good. This Marowak's not exactly the strongest thing ever, so it's kind of sad, but that's life. We also have a coughing because because you gotta spread that you gotta spread that poison out there. You know, you, you gotta um. You, you gotta spread those biohazards all over the air because I, I don't know why you would want to do that. I mean, that thing has a warning on its body that it's toxic. So why would you want that, ne anything, that thing anywhere near you? 1266, that thing should be more powerful. That thing is going to get your Pokemon, other Pokemon sick. Come on, that thing's going to be more powerful than that. Get out of my face, it's not very strong. But we do have, of course, Horsey to double evolve. Because we're going to go get ourselves, because we have more than enough Dragon Scales, we can go get ourselves a Kingdra. And Kingdra means power. So, got ourselves a Seedra, over 1400 already. I can only imagine how powerful that thing can be after it evolves again. To be fair, probably not that, probably not all that powerful, but you know. You get what you get sometimes, that's life, not much you can do about it. But hey, Kingdra's still a strong Pokemon, and I am not disappointed. Also, you know, something to add to our Pokedex, and that's always cool. So, 1750, I can't complain. I can't complain. We have enough candy, we could probably trend up even more anyway. We do, of course, have Goldeen to evolve, because we have a bunch of Goldeen candy, so, you know, that could be, uh, that could get us some more experience and potentially a stronger Seeking, so. You know, that can be good for us. You know, it's always good to have more Pokemon, more stronger Pokemon, more powerful Pokemon, more Pokemon to, to just use to take over, uh, the, the, I guess, the world in this case. Of course, we do, of course, have our Staryu. Starmie is a really good, specially offensive Pokemon. Once again, don't know exactly how that translates into Go. I don't know that much about the battle system, other than it, it, it can be a pain at times. And also collaborative. But we got ourselves another Starmie. 1583. I cannot complain, even though our previous one was already over a thousand. So, let's go evolve uh, Scyther. We can go get ourselves a Scizor. Which is kind of nice. You know, we have those metal coats. Might as well use them, since, you know, they take up space in our inventory anyway. And this way we can get a powerful Steel Bug Pokemon. So... Not exactly any good against fire types, but other than that, it's pretty good. <laughs> so, I can't complain. That is our Scizor. So, I don't have nearly enough to evolve a Magikarp. Uh, Porygon's still the way to go. But we can start evolving our Johto starter. So, let's go double evolve a Chikorita. Fun fact, at this point in time, Chikorita is my favorite Pokemon that is available in Pokemon Go. Um... <laughs> but I'm evolving it anyway, because, you know, I have a bunch of Chikorita anyway. So might as well get ourselves Meganium. Of course, the first step is to get ourselves a Bayleaf. So this is our stronger Bayleaf. I did get another one from a, uh, a raid. That said, we can go get ourselves now a Meganium. Which is the first time that I have evolved in Pokemon Go a second stage starter into its final form. I did catch a wild Venusaur, but I've never evolved a starter into its final form thus far until now. So that is definitely cool. So that gives us 1334 on our Meganium. All right. Now, Cyndaquil, we don't quite have enough to get a uh, Quill Lava and a Typhlosion, but what we can do is get ourselves one of them. So, well, time to evolve our, uh, at least one Cyndaquil. 
We could, of course, catch a Quilava from a raid, but what's the point of catching Quilava in a raid when you can just catch some, a couple more Cyndaquil and just evolve it into Quilava? Seriously. Quilava is actually such a cool Pokemon for a second stage uh, starter, I must say. So, you know what? I love Quilava and all, but it's time to get ourselves a Typhlosion. I'll hold off on getting an actual Quilava, even though it is in our Pokedex, until a little bit later. Not too much later, because right now, we have a Lucky Egg up, so let's get Typhlosion in our decks. <laughs> so, this thing is probably going to be powerful. Uh, 1486, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, right, we also have Totodile. This thing's already almost 700, so let's see how strong it can be as a Croconaw. I know I could just evolve one of the Croconaw that we have from raids, because there were a couple of Croconaw that I caught, but honestly, we can probably get a stronger one by just evolving this thing twice, and we have more than enough candy to do that, so hey, you know, why not? Other than the fact that I guess we could have used that candy to, you know, just, you know, just candy up a uh, alligator after evolving the Croconaw, but... I mean, that would save us 25 candies, but at the same time, at uh, that high up, you probably probably would have taken quite a few candies in order to actually uh, get it stronger than we would have gotten this for alligator. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. If possible. I'm not one to say how likely that would be, but still, 1831, I'll take it. That thing, that thing really is powerful. And with that, we have all of the final form Johto starters, which is definitely cool. Uh, we have we have time still to continue with our evolutions as we are into the Johto Pokemon now. So, next up we will end up evolving a uh, Hoot Hoot, since we don't have a Noctowl yet. Uh, so, there's that. That's kind of cool. Hoot Hoot is one of my favorite uh, regional birds, if not my favorite. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. It's kind of hard to tell at times. I don't know. I've always loved it. I kind of like Noctowl too, to be honest. I, I do really like Noctowl. Um, I feel like, it, especially given its move pool, it could it could have done really well as a Psychic type, which is why in the ROM hacks that I make, I, I do I did make the Hoot Hoot line um, Psychic flying instead of normal flying. Because I feel like it fits. And it, it, it's kind of a cool typing. I know there is Natsu and Zatu from the same generation as well. But, I don't know, I just feel like it, it, it could really help out Hoot, the Hoot Hoot line. And it, Hoot Hoot's always been a Pokemon I really like, so there's that. Ariados! Eh, I'm very neutral to it. Nothing personal. I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, but that's just a personal thing. Whatever. Nothing personal. We do have a Chinchu. Chinchu, Chinchow, Chin something? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's electric type. I'm gonna say Chinchu since it's close to Pikachu. Maybe it's not. Who really knows? Let's just get ourselves a lantern, because, you know, we gotta see in that dark. Because at night, it can be dark out, and when it's dark out, we need a lantern in order to see. So, illuminate us, lantern. How powerful are you? And it is 1462. Eh, not bad, not bad. Pretty much doubled. I'll take it. I shall take it. Now, it is time to evolve a Natu. Speaking of Natu, not to complain, we are going to get ourselves a more powerful Zatu, hopefully. Maybe not. I don't know. I can't remember. That said, <laughs> we've got ourselves a fortune teller. We've got to open those boxes in uh, uh, Treasure Town, I believe. Okay, 1325, not bad. Alright, moving on. We shall get ourselves an Azumarill. Or shall I say, another Azumarill. Who doesn't love the Marrow line? I really can't think of anyone with a heart who doesn't love the Marrow line. Uh, unfortunately, Azumarill is not available in this game yet, but once it is, I don't even know how I'll be able to get bring myself to ever release one because it is such a great Pokemon. That said, we've got Sunkern, so let's use a Sunstone here and evolve it. Because we got this uber material, we want this thing to grow up and become something overpowered. But I'll take a Sunflora instead, that's fine. No problem. You know, gotta get that sunflower power. Uh, it's a odd Pokemon to say the least, but you know, it's generic enough. I'll take it. And we leveled up to level 28. 
which is not that impressive when you consider the game's been out for a year, but, you know, you know, small steps. I did stop playing the game for quite a while earlier on anyway. That said, we got a hound hour or two of all, because, because our impending doom is upon us, I think. Maybe, maybe not, is it? Is it? I don't know. Either way, this devil dog is probably going to be pretty powerful, I would think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. This thing's got, got bones all over it. 1552, that's not bad. I, I see potential. I choose to see potential, therefore I see potential. Now let's go evolve a swine up to get ourselves a big old pile of swine. Because, you know, ice types, ground types, powerful Pokemon. We still got a ways to go until Mammoth Swine's released. So I think we're, we're good to just, you know, catch ourselves a pile of swine. 1379, I shall take it. I shall. Also, we can go evolve ourselves a little whooper because, you know, we have enough Wi-Fi here. We have enough signals, so got that full Wi-Fi. Let's go get ourselves a Quagsire to ground it and, you know. You gotta love how the, uh, how it has, like, the Wi-Fi sign and a symbol, like, upside down. And it's a ground type, so it's, like, grounded. Grounded with Wi-Fi, you gotta love that. Who can't appreciate that? Well... I definitely can, so there's that. Now let's evolve our little teddy bear. This thing is this thing is overpowered already, so I can only imagine how powerful it'll be once it becomes Ursary. Okay, I'll stop. That said, our teddy bear is all grown up now. Now it's our teddy bear's become a papa bear. You know, I've always loved Teddy Ursa, I don't know why. It's just adorable. Uh, Ursaring, that's 1644, that's, that's definitely, definitely not bad. That said, uh, I think we have, we have Eevees to evolve. Because, you know, we gotta, we gotta get them Eevees. So, in order to get this thing to evolve into an Espeon, you gotta name it Sakura. In order to get it into an Umbreon, you name it Tamal. I think as with the anime, I'm not sure. I really don't know. But, I kinda want both of them, so we're gonna go get them! Yeah! So, Eevee shall evolve as Sakura into our Espeon. Espeon is my second favorite Eeveelution, so, you know, kind of makes sense to want to get one of these, I suppose. Really cool, Psychic Pet's pretty powerful. 1967! That is power! That is just straight up power. That thing is so close, I might actually, I'm, um, I'm actually going to end up uh, candying that thing up a little bit in order to get it over 2,000, because, you know, gotta get some po more powerful Pokemon to help us out in those raid battles, especially given that I don't have very many powerful Pokemon, and that was one of my objectives here in, when uh, evolving some of our other powerful Pokemon that are less powerful but more of ready waiting to evolve. But we do have our Umbreon now. I don't hate Umbreon, I just don't like the way people use it, so there's that. Not as powerful as Espeon, but still, I'll take it. I shall take it. Alright, we have a bunch of Pidgeys. We have Rattata, we have Spearow, we have Sentry. We have some of these uh, lower uh, tier Pokemon that are more common. That, you know, we can just evolve in order to get, you know, use up some of the candy and get some more experience while we still have that lucky egg running. So that's kind of cool. Um, get ourselves a stronger Eradicate. I mean, over a thousand, it's, it's an improvement. I can't complain. I, I, I really can't complain. It's not like I have any high expectations for Eradicate. It's, I mean, Eradicate. I, I don't know what to say other than, other than, I don't know, maybe some people want to Eradicate them. I don't know, I don't. I have nothing personal against it. But uh, it's not my favorite Pokemon by any means. But, you know, that's, that's fine. That said, let's go get ourselves, uh, another Furret. Maybe we can get a stronger Furret. That or we could just train up the one we have. I don't know. This way it'll get us more experience, so there's always that option, I suppose. Uh, we have, we have more than enough center candy to evolve these Pokemon, and then some. So I think we're good. You know, just get ourselves a bunch of these, uh, these Furret. Furret is definitely one of my three favorite, uh, fully evolved Pokemon. 
Um, so there's there's that going for it. I don't know. By fully evolved, let's say uh, let's say evolved, but fully evolved. Probably one of my favorite fully evolved. I don't know about that, but it's definitely one of my favorite final form Pokemon. Definitely. Um, I don't know. The funny thing is, I I I always love Sentret. Sentret's always been one of my favorite Pokemon from Johto of all. Um, uh, but it wasn't until after I started YouTube where I started really loving Furret. But Furret has... I, I, I now love Furret just about as much as Sentret. Which is, uh, kind of cool. Ever since that Soul Silver Extreme lock. Which was a long time ago. <laughs> really long ago. I mean, a few years. So, you know, there's that. So... I mean, I... I always overlooked Mancino as well until I started with uh, comp into the competitive scene. I'm not really a real competitive battler, to be honest, but I, I do love uh, Chinchino more than anything in terms of that. Gotta love that that uh, skill link, King's Rock. So, with that, the lucky egg did wear off. So you know, that's fine. We got ourselves a bunch of uh, of evolved Pokemon. I'm probably gonna have to release quite a few of them at this point, but that's okay because. Because, um, you know, it's all about, you know, getting our level up, so we'll be, uh, closer to something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what this stuff does, but our Pokedex is, is still looking pretty good. We've seen 215 and caught 186, so that is not bad. We're definitely making some more progress here. We still have quite a ways to go, but, you know, you gotta take it one step at a time. Maybe we can catch a Legendary at one point. I My luck with Legendaries uh, is I'm able to beat them, but I cannot catch them for my life. I, I don't know why. I, I just... I cannot get luck with catching Pokemon. What can I say? Maybe we need stronger Pokemon. We have two Pokemon over 2,000. Except I'm actually going to power up our uh, Sakura here because... This will bring it over 2,000, but we have more than enough Eevee candy. We have a long time until um, we can go get Leafeon and Glaceon, so we can actually keep powering this thing up. Because I have so much Eevee candy, it doesn't take too many candies in order to evolve it uh, anytime anyway. So, I'm in really no, uh, no, I have no reason to hoard all this candy for the time being. Because I'm probably going to catch more Eevee anyway, so... You know, we can get a really powerful Espeon, and that could help us out big picture-wise more than I think just saving up a candy can do. So, uh, this thing is easily going to be our most powerful Pokemon. And I can't complain. It's one of my favorite fully evolved Pokemon, so I, I really can't complain about having this thing. It is, It has a special attack through the roof. Um, over 2300 in, in combat power now, and we no longer can power it up. So, you know, that's fine, though. So, Aerodactyl is no longer our most powerful. You know what? We have, a, we have a Legendary, so it's time to power this thing up as well. Because when you have a Legendary, you train that thing up as much as you can. Actually, I, I mean, a little bit. A little bit. We can at least get this thing over 2,000, and it can definitely uh, come through for us, big picture-wise. So we can get this thing over 2,000 by giving it four more candies. We'll be down to only a few more left over for Owl Candy, but 2016... The year of Arcanine, not really, but still, still kind of cool. We can power up our Tauros, since we have so many Tauros candies that, you know, this thing could be useful for us. Over 1,900. I don't think this thing let me actually get it up to 2,000, which is kind of sad, but that's, you know, it happens, it happens. Uh, unfortunately, they, they did cap how much you can train your Pokemon because they want you to level up more rather than using up all your candies. I haven't done much leveling up in the past because I figured I'd save up all the Stardust and candies and whatnot until later on when I'm at a higher level, especially because I never took one gyms until now anyway, so there's that. So we have Executor up to over 2100. So, you know, that could be kind of useful. So we can keep training up some Pokemon overall. Aerodactyl, uh, I don't have too much candy, so I might just hold off for now. We can power up Kingdra, though, since I don't think I'm going to evolve another Seedra. I'm better off just powering up our Kingdra at this point. 
Um, only because it, it pretty much, I feel like, is, uh, it's strong enough, but probably okay there. So some more stronger Pokemon, I probably will be training up more over time. Only because I, I do want stronger Pokemon in order to take on battles, so... In the past, I've dealt with uh, getting Pokemon as strong as I could and getting them stronger by evolving them, but I'm probably going to start actually training them more in the future. But for now, I'm just going to take a step back and relax carrying around our Pichu. I, I actually got that Pichu on the, like, the second to last day of the event, which is really cool. Luckily, it's from a 2K uh, egg. It was from a 2K egg, so it didn't take that long to uh, end up hatching. That said, that is a lot of Pokemon that we got that said, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.